I've been making a Draw Stickman Epic 2 lore video, uh, but I want to give some insight into why I'm making it. So, this is a game which I speed ran every single category and corner of it. I've pushed the limits to how fast this game can go, and I've also made some animations about it despite my channel being a gaming channel. But, uh, due to my fast-paced speedrunning videos, I'm not really ever able to go into detail. There's just so much knowledge I have that I haven't been putting to use. I haven't been seeing Draw Sigmund Epic 2 at a surface level. I've secretly had many, many theories, even before my channel was created. I've just never got to share any of them. And, that might have been a mistake. But also, there's just so much to pile together, a past me might not have been able to do it. Ever since I discovered fellow Draw Stick and Epic 2 YouTube channels, I frequently had Draw Stick and Epic 2 videos to watch. But also, others have proven to have an endless imagination, taking the step to create more Draw Stick and Epic 2 content outside of gaming. Because game communities need some fanfic outside of the base game in order for it to reach its full potential. And without the work of these channels, Draw Stickman Epic 2 would really be a dead game. I'm talking more dead than the idea of Draw Stickman Epic 4 when HitSense is focused on updating 2 and 3. Whoops! Oh no! And people have made their own universes of the Stickman series. These of which have continued the game's legacy. But, in all my time, I've never really seen anyone cover the lore of the base game. Sure, people have talked about it, but there's no videos on YouTube about the story of this game. So, I kind of want to help people discover the lore of Draw Stickman Epic 2. Uh, it's a game that I value a lot, and I've always dreamed of sharing my knowledge about this game to other people. So anyway, yeah, that's all I had to say. Have a good day.